and they was chasing us. And they had Arabs right alongside of them, rounding Hebrews up. It wasn't Africans and Africans. It was so-called Africans rounding up us Hebrews. Dude says, I mean, I'm saying the Africans. Because, because all the nations were dark at one time. The only, the only, the only nation, the only nation, the only nation that lost his pigmentation, that lost his, his, his skin color, that's what pigmentation is. His melanin was Esau Edom. That's how you would know. That's how you would separate them from the rest of other people. That's how you would know. Why, why did he lose his presentation? Because he yeah, was. We'll go, we go into it. We'll go into it. But you know that's that's weird. Weird. I that you said that because they're doing a remake of Roots. They is. Yes. They got a TV series. Yeah, TV series. Yep. They're remaking it. Another thing to add on, too, man, is people always say the so called white man had like all of us in slavery. Hey, them Arabs, too, man. Hey, they said they were chopping off our fucking nuts, man. All nations had us in slavery. You know? Con. All nations. So every last one of these fucking people on this planet is gonna pay for putting their hands on us, man. And when I say us, I mean all twelve of us, all twelve tribes. Cause every fucking body had a piece in our downfall. The fucking so-called Chinaman, which in the Bible he is Moab. The so-called uh, uh, Japanese, which in the Bible he is Ammon. The so-called uh, 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 fucking East Indians, in the Bible they are Elamites. The so-called uh, Arabs, in the Bible they are uh, Ishmael. So-called Africans in the Bible, they're Hamites. The so-called uh, uh, Polynesians, Hawaiians, in the Bible, they're called Japhites. You see what I'm saying? Every everybody goes back to a biblical identity that they don't have to pay for fucking touching us. Go ahead with that. Finish that Joel, though. I mean, it says, and will ye render me a recompense? So the Lord saying, will you pay me back for doing what the fuck you did to, to my people? Go ahead. And if you recompense me. Swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Right. So that hey, hey, you touched us, your fucking judgment is gonna come, man. It's gonna fucking come. Go ahead. Uh, you want more? Yeah, keep going. Because, verse 5, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my godly pleasant things. Goodly, goodly. So like goodly pleasant things. Yep. Which which uh that, that happened numerous times. The fucking Babylonians came in, they destroyed the first temple. They took all the gold and silver out of the temple. And then the second temple was destroyed, it was destroyed in 70 AD by the goddamn Romans. Which was the Romans were so-called uh, uh, white people. They were fucking Edomites. You know? Go ahead. And it says, verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. Go ahead. Have ye sold unto the Grecians? Have ye sold unto the Grecians? So when you think of Greeks, who do you think of? so-called white men that, that it, just, it just said it just said that the uh tyree and zidon and the coast of palestine has sold us unto the grecians the bible telling you that so-called africans and so-called arabs sold us unto so-called white men man and this is in the bible thousands of years before it happened because this was a curse if we wouldn't follow the law statute commandment that the lord told us to do Deuteronomy 2868. They explain it. You say what? Everything is a curse. Everything we suffering on this side is a curse. Wow. Uh, that's it on that? And it says, uh, that ye might remove them far from their border. Which they did. We far from our border. We all the way to fuck over here in a fucking land that we knew not. Matter of fact, jump back to Deuteronomy. Uh, what's that like 52, 53, something like that? Well, go ahead with your question, though. I, oh. I know you. I know you gotta. You gotta dip out. We come, giant. Uh, and, and I want you to read this right here. Right there. Well, the question is, man. I know how y'all feel about Muslim, but this on one particular Muslim I have to really concern about. And that's Malcolm. Malcolm X. You know? Do you know why Malcolm X died? Yeah, I know. He, he okay. died because he found out the truth. What was the truth? The truth went where we came from. Where we come from? We came from Jerusalem. What was his last <laughs> message, though? <laughs> All right. The last <laughs> message. His last message, did he not say that you are the Valley of Dry Bones? Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, that's the ZKL 37. Yeah. That's our people. And I just want to, just wanted to feel that y'all hate Cause, him. Because you want to know who killed Malcolm? Oh, uh, people. Oh, his, 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 the Muslims, he considered himself a Muslim, Muslims killed him. Which they was Jakes too, they was Israelites, but they was under the vibration of Muslims. You know? Go ahead, you gotta hold it down, stay on point. Don't worry about it. 
Hey, so so read that definition of him, brother. Read it out loud, brother. Give me that shit, man. Slut. <laughs> Go ahead, I, Go ahead, brother. The youngest son of Noah. This the definition of ham, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Youngest son of Noah. Uh huh. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Uh huh. And of eight persons to live through the flood. Uh huh. He became a project. Progenitor of the dark. The progenitor. Y'all gonna be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, man. Y'all gonna be destroyed for worse than Mary. Y'all gonna be destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction. Hey, 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 Y'all by Shim Yaw and Shah, Baba Kushah, Baba Kushah, Baba Kushah. Y'all by Shim Yaw and Shah, the Yad Tawah. Jesus, Joe Marco, Jesus. Go ahead, huh? Us Yaz! 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 That's how simple our people is, man. We can't, uh, you got it. You got it. I'm yeah. across the tire. Here can drag it. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and the Canaanites. So it says that Ham is the progenitor of the black races, but what? Ne but not, but, 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 the, but not the Negroes. Yeah, not the Negroes. So where we come from? Who are we? If we ain't fucking Africans, because everything is naming is Africans, right? Not the Egyptians, not the Libyans. No, no, no. Not the Canaanites. The last drink, right? The last drink. The last drink. The last drink. The last drink. See? Yeah, that, that's that's all that's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you. But so so we reading that. Which did we put this book together? Did I write this book? Nah. <laughs> Who the so called white man put this book together? You see how he, you see how he telling you? When one breath he say we Africans, but another breath see this an old this an old book. In the new books you are not gonna find this. See they was telling on themselves in the ancient world why? Because look, when we was in slavery, what was the saying? If, if, if you don't know, it's all good. But the saying, but the saying was <laughs> fucking fag, man. But the saying, but the saying was, if you was found reading when we was in slavery, you would be beat. But if you was found reading the Bible, you was put to death. Yeah. Why is that? Because uh, because this book this resonates with our spirit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I got that in Genesis 10 for just to back you up. This is uh Genesis 10, starting at uh, I'm gonna start at five. It says, by these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in the lands, every one after his tongue, after their families and their nations, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Israel, and Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba. And Havilah, and Sittah, and Ramah, and Saptashah, and the sons of Ramah, and Sheba, and the Dine. And Cush began Nimrod. Okay, and I want to skip down. And it says, uh, and Canaan began Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hibite, and the Archite, and the Sinite. And the Arbadite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathrite. Which is all Hamites, so called right. Africans. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You see what I'm saying? We we were we weren't mentioning that. We came out of Shem. Which we come out of Abraham. Abraham came out of Shem. We come out of Abraham. You see what I'm saying? Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob had these twelve sons. The Jacob names were changed to Israel. And out of Israel come these twelve sons. And out of these twelve sons. Come the nation we know now. You, you see so, what I'm saying? So, like, these are more questions. Why? Why is? Before you hold that question, because I want to go back <laughs> to the first question you mentioned. Somebody give me John 13 and 20, and then jump down to uh, and to jump down to verse 31. You gonna read 31 and 32? Because because John, John 13, start at 20. Because uh, you're going to start at 20, then you're going to jump down to 31 and 32. Because you had mentioned 
do we worship Yahweh Shai? Right, right, right. Because you know, the, the Lord said, worship him only. Worship right. Yahweh. Right. I am the Father. Worship me only. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Hey, but the Lord sent a mediator. He sent somebody down to be a middleman between himself and us. Because the Lord ain't dealing with us directly. So that's why Yahweh Shai had to come be that middleman. You see what I'm saying? He's the mediator. The scripture says he's the mediator. I'm going to get that too. I got that. Basically, oh, you got that? Okay, cool. The water, brother. Basically, he's our lawyer. We're all we're all guilty in front of in front of the Father Yahweh because we all sin. Yahweh Shai is our lawyer. He is the man that's there to plead our cause. Just like in the case room, in the, in the lawyer, the defense attorney, hey, well, my client, whoop, whoop, whoop. So when you're doing right, by when you do everything Yahweh Shai said do, according to the Bible, which is the whole book, because Yahweh Shai said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book that is written of me. It ain't no just no Old Testament. It ain't no just no New Testament. You need the whole book, including the Apocrypha, which is in which, which, which is this. This book right here. This, this book was originally in the Bible. This book was removed out of the Bible. You see? Because this book exposes a lot of the so-called white men. Which, which me and this brother got a 1611. The 1611 version of the Bible this book, this apocrypha, comes naturally in there. You see what I'm saying? Then that's the first edition? This is yeah, 1611. 1611, okay. That's right here. That's what all the presidents swear in on. Yep. Show it to them, See? Hey, bro, yeah, I just wanted to say, man, y'all keep us doing Hey, hey, no problem, brother, no problem. That's it called, apocrypha? All right, brother. Apocrypha. Shut them off, means away, krafa, which is hidden. So the, it literally means hidden away. APO. To add on what the brother was saying, they this exposed Esau a lot because it has a lot of historical uh, uh, aspects in it. Okay, like in uh, the was it the first, first Mac Maccabees. first Maccabees tells you uh, about Alexander the Great, about Alexander the Great, man, yep. or Alexander the Great, whatever. It's, yeah, Alexander the Snake. See, because they try to tell you that the Bible is a fairy tale, but yet the Bible mentions people who history says existed. The Bible mentions Claudius, the, uh, Claudius Caesar, which he was a Roman Caesar. The Bible mentions Tiberius. You know what I'm saying? These, uh, the Bible mentions Pontius Pilate. These are men that history says lived. You see what I'm saying? The Bible mentions Alexander the fucking Crete. It mentions men who actually lived. There's our records of these men actually living. Another thing, another thing too to add on what the brother's saying is to understand actually the New Testament, you actually have to know what happened during the Maccabees, man. Because there's like even for uh, what is it, the Feast of Dedications, that, that's found in the uh, in the Maccabees and Yahweh Shai celebrated that, man. So if you don't you know what I'm saying? Go ahead with that John though. John 13, starting at verse 20. John 13 and 20. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that receiveth. Sorry, I'm gonna read that again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomso, whomsoever I send, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. See? So the Lord, so the Lord said, whosoever believe on who he sent, Yahweh Shah sent us. These motherfuckers might hey, you, hey, you and you, you ain't you ain't gotta believe. It. Romans 3 says, What if some did not uh, believe? Should they believe make the uh, effect? Matter of fact, get it, because I'll put you in. Somebody get Romans 3, Bible for Shah. It's Romans 3, uh, I think it's like towards the last verse. 3 and 31? 3 and 3. Oh, it's 3 and 3. Right. I was, ah, sloppy. I was thinking 31. <laughs> 3 and 3. Go ahead, though. All right. This is Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? See? So what if some did not believe? Do it make do it do it do it make the things that we saying not gonna happen? Nah. So you ain't gotta fucking believe it. You can walk down the street and do your own fucking thing. Because the, the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice. So so the ones who are meant to get it is gonna get it and they gonna know what it is. You know? So the Lord said that uh whosoever believed the one that he sent, which we were sent by Yahweh Shah. And who and who was Yahweh Shah sent by? Go ahead, read, read that again, right. John. John 13, 13 and 20. And verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I said, receiveth me. See, and so he he that believeth on whomever he sent, receiveth him. So if you receive us, that means you receiving Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah sent us. We coming in his name. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. 
and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. So if you receive us, you receive Yahweh Shai. And if you receive Yahweh Shai, you receive the one that sent him, which he came in the name of his father, which is Yahweh, our father. So in order to receive us, you receive Yahweh Shai. In order to receive Yahweh Shai, you got to receive the Most High. You see how he set it up? You see what I'm saying? Now jump down to 31. Verse 31. It says, therefore now he was gone out. Should I just say it verbatimly? No, no, skip the name. Yahweh Shai said, now is the son of man glorified. Now is the son of man glorified. Yahweh Shai is the son of man. He's saying, now am I glorified. Go ahead. And is, and the most high Yahweh is glorified in him. See? So when you glorify Yahweh Shai, you is glorifying the father. Because Yah because the most high is glorified in Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Verse 32. If Yahweh be glorified in him. If Yahweh be glorified in praising Yahweh Shah, go ahead. Yahweh shall also glorify him in himself. Yahweh the Father shall also glorify him within himself. Go ahead. And shall straightway glorify him. So glorifying Yahweh Shah is glorifying the Most High. Acknowledging our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah is acknowledging the Most High. Matter of fact, get that, John. Get that. Get that out. John 12 and 44, uh -huh. Yahweh Shai cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me. See, he that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but who? But on him that sent me. So if you believe on Yahweh Shai, then guess what? You believe in Yahweh. Because you got to go through Yahweh Shai. You got the mediator, brother? All right. This is Hebrews 8 and 6. But now has he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Huh. Go ahead, I'll go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to find the scripture. Lock it, man. That shit threw me off. Read that again. My bad. That ain't that fucking part. Esau, bro. God. Read that again. This is Hebrews 8 and 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator. The mediator. Yep, he, he's the one that, that's in between, man. Like how the brother was saying earlier. He's like our lawyer, man. And Yahweh is the judge. So he's pleading our, our, our case to the Heavenly Father himself. Okay? It says, Of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. That's it. Right, I got one. This is John 14 and 6. It says, Yahweh Shah saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It says, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you gotta go through Yahweh Shah in order to get to the Father. Go ahead, bro. I got this. This is like a uh, historic, uh, this is a little bit of history so you understand why we have to go through uh, Yahweh Shah to get to Yahweh. This is Jer Jeremiah 3, I'm gonna start at 7. And I said, after she had done all these things, and that she's talking about Israel, all 12 tribes, okay? Turned out unto me, but she returned not. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it. Because basically it started off with the, southern, uh, the northern kingdom, which is the, basically the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, okay? Um, they, de they de uh, we didn't return first. And her sister Judah, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanic, uh, Blacks, the Haitians, and the uh, uh, West Indies, the, the, that's what Judah, uh, they, they consist of Judah. They saw it, okay? And, and uh, I'm going to read verse 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby but, uh, backsliding Israel committed adultery, because we spiritually committed adultery against the Heavenly Father, because we started worshiping uh, pagan gods, okay? Um, I have put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. So the main point is we got uh, divorced from the Heavenly Father, man. So we have to have Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh, because we're still actually divorced right now until we get into the kingdom. But even still, we're still gonna praise Yahweh Shai because he, you know, you know, we already read all the scriptures in John, man. He's our savior. He's the king, king, lord, and lord, man. No question, no. Well, you can ask any question you uh, want, brother. First question. Uh, is man contradicting? Is man yeah. contradicting the, yeah. the specified? Like what you mean? 
do you believe that men lie? Do I believe that men lie? Yeah. Men lie, of course. All right, okay, so if men broke the Bible, then why is Hey, like somebody the Bible give me Peter. Uh, somebody give me Peter. What's that? Two? Um, I think that's the one I'm thinking yeah, yeah, of. Timothy. It might be the one I'm thinking yeah. of. Timothy. Uh, I got it. Uh, 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 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Oh, uh, is this it? Yeah. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction on righteous, in righteousness. Read that again. Oh, 2 Timothy 3, 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. Yahweh. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so this Bible wasn't written just off men's own thoughts. The Lord puts the Spirit on these men to write it. So, so the Spirit of Yahweh does not lie, and that was on them men. I truly understand that. You see? I understand that. But listen, if, if there are more than one Bible, then why is there's only this one. There, there, right, there's right, only right. one Bible. Right. What do you mean? There's, there's more than one Bible. The Quran, the Catholic. Bible. No, the, them are not Bibles. What does right. Bible mean? I actually don't know. See? What does Bible mean? Hey, somebody get Psalm 68. The, uh, the definition of a Bible. What, what is Bible mean? Bible comes from the Latin, which is biblios, which means collection of books. Collection That's of what books. Bible means. But do the Genesis. No, nah, Genesis is a book. You see what I'm saying? They got Genesis Exodus in the Quran. is a book. They got that in the Quran. But what I'm saying is it's not the Bible. Because the Bible, like it says, read, read that Peter again, Bible Kasha. Not Peter, but Timothy. Second Timothy 2 and 2 and uh so like 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high. The Quran wasn't inspired by the most high. You see what I'm saying? The so fucking what? Book of the Dead, the Metanetzer, the fucking Talmud, the Kabbalah, all that bullshit wasn't inspired by the Most High. They said the Quran came first. That's fucking bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. The Quran came out first. The Quran came in, uh, when, when Muhammad came, man. It was, it was earlier than 1100s. I want to say 500 or something, 300 or something. I really don't fucking know because I don't fuck around with that Muhammad and fucking all that bullshit. I'm, I'm not saying. All, all I know is our heritage, our culture goes back to Adam. And then, but, but, you see what I'm saying? It's a straight cut too. But I, the, the, the reason I'm saying that is Christians. So do you consider yourself a Christian? We are Christians. We are Christians. What does Christian mean? Christian means uh, a person that worships Christ? No. What? A Christian comes from the Greek, which is Christos, which means a follower of Christ. Right. Christ, yeah, yeah. Christ means what? Anointed. So it means follower of the anointed. That's what it means. But in order to follow the anointed of the scriptures, you got to follow how he walks and how he did it. The way they say this guy is not the anointed. See, so-called Christians follow this guy. So they not so they're not they're not literal so, Christians. So, so these are not religion. These are races. No, these are our. This is not religion. It's, re see? it's a race. This Every is our race. race. This is our heritage. This is who we are. This was makes us us. This Bible, this knowledge makes us us. This is who makes us what we are. You see what I'm saying? Think the Israelites is a, uh, is a religion. It's not a religion. We coming back to our heritage. Because we were we because we forgotten our heritage. Matter of fact, get that Psalm 11, then hold hold um hold uh, uh, uh Jeremiah 17 and 4. I got this Peter. This is 2 Peter 1 and 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So it ain't no private breakdown. It ain't no shit that all oh, these people know over here that these people don't know. It ain't no private interpretation of the Bible. You see what I'm saying? It ain't, well, that's your understanding of it. That's the way you see it. No, it ain't none of that shit. It's none of that. The way the Bible says it is what it is. Isaiah 28 says, precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. When I was just explaining to you about our curses and about um, us going into slavery, we not sticking into one, one scripture. You see how we jumping around? We jump to right, Timothy, right. we jump to yeah. Peter, we might jump back to Genesis, then we jump to Isaiah, then we jump back. You see, that's how you read the Bible. Because the Bible is a puzzle book that needs to be put together. 
You see, that's the mystery that the Lord gave. This is this is not give me what's that, Matthew 13? That's why two. Uh, Can you give me Matthew 13? My bad, it's 13 now. <laughs> and hold Isaiah 6. This is Matthew 13, 9 and 10. Who hath ears to hear? Let him hear. Now we all got ears, right? The Lord said, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. We all got ears. So that, that's a deeper meaning to that. We all got ears. So he said, he who hath ears to hear, let him hear. So this motherfucker is walking around with no ears that can't hear? You know? It's a deeper meaning. When, they, when, the, when the Lord said, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. The Lord is saying, he that understand, let him understand. Somebody would come up and they read this sign and be like, so you saying we Israelites? Yeah, we Israelites. I'll read them. The curses that we went through, Deuteronomy 28, 68, I'll read all that. And they won't see it. Oh, I don't believe that. And walk down the street. Why? Because they ain't got the ears to hear it. Now, you might got the ears to hear it, brother. You've been sitting, you've been sitting here for the last, going on an hour now, you know? But go ahead. All right. This is verse 10. And the disciples came and, and said unto him, Why speakest thou to them in parables? Now Yahweh Shah, when he taught, he taught in parables. So if he if so if we out here teaching in parables, how can everybody be saved? Then they don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> so how can everybody, if you just believe in the end, you'll be how? And the Lord taught in parables. Go ahead. This is verse 11. So the disciples, so Peter, John, Mark, Matthew, they all came and said, Hey Lord, why you um why you talking in riddles and parables? The people ain't gonna understand that. Why is you why is you talking to them like that? Go ahead. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you. Somebody give me Romans, what's that, eleven and seven? To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord told the disciples, it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. But to them it is not given. But unto them it is not given. So everybody ain't gonna be saved. The Lord just said it right there. It is given unto certain people. Because in order to be saved, you gotta know what? The mysteries. You gotta know how to live your life in order to be saved. If these motherfuckers don't know how, how can they be saved? See? Go ahead, yep. And we're gonna jump down to verse 13. It says, therefore, speak I to them in parables, because they see, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. See, that's like our people that's walking past. See, we're not worried about no other, we're not worried about the heathens. The heathens is not going to.